everybody, tis I. I wanted to introduce you to our newest family member. Oh, thank you. This is Bailey. <laughs> oh, and sometimes when I ask her to step up, she bites me. But she's never broken my skin, which is huge comes to birds. It's more like a warning or, or whatever, because I'm an old lady. Bailey is a 25-year-old Patagonian con. Can you step up, please? Thank you. So she's a 25-year-old Patagonian. Oh, my goodness. Come here. She's so obnoxious. But anyway, she's, yeah, she's a sweetheart. Look at her. But anyways, I wanted to introduce you because I want to share whatever I've learned so far about her. She was in a home and her parents were unable to give her the type of care she needs. And a friend reached out and said, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you have room for her. And I said, yes. And she showed up one day. Here she is. I'm going to see if she'll step up on my hand. And sometimes you're like, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi there. So anyways, for the most part, she's good. But sometimes she'll go after my hand. Hi, see? Oh, thank you. So with larger birds, they have bigger beaks, and they're, some of them can be quite noisy. And so I think the shock of the bite is what gets a lot of people, and they say, oh, my bird hates me. But that's how birds communicate sometimes. And Bailey is no different. It's that she's never broken skin, and I think that's really important. A lot of times, if you want to work with them, you can use a perch or a glove. Um, get them used to that. You could teach them the step up method, target training. Bailey's just a sweetheart. Oh, see, we'll see how she does that. <laughs> so, anyways, she's wonderful. I just absolutely love her. She settled in, they brought her over, and I said, Oh my goodness, she's pretty big, but. Um, she snuggled up to me right away, and that's been it. So I guess they live to about 30, I hope. I give us another five years with her. Um, what, word, words of wisdom. If you can get earplugs when working, <laughs> that would be a really good idea because sometimes she screeches so loud that my ears start ringing, so I, her decibel level is <laughs> higher than <laughs> Mariah Carey. Just kidding. But anyways, she is wonderful. Let's see if she'll step up and get Bailey up. See, she's she's not hurting me. Look at her. She's not hurting. She's just, come here, goofball. Come here, step up. Thank you. But that's how you do it. I'm not saying all birds are like, hi, kisses. Kisses. You want to give a kiss? I know. But anyways, I wanted to introduce you to Bailey. I am in love with her. She is loud, obnoxious, the loudest of all of my conures. But, oh my gosh, I am in love with her. <laughs> so, oh, hi, best friend. <laughs> I love her so much. So anyways, before you bring a conure home, I'm going to gather myself. I'm not going to cry. You need fresh food and water, a large enough cage so they can spread their wings. They are food motivated sometimes. What was that? And sometimes they fight for no reason. Um, but they're food motivated sometimes. You can target train. There's a lot of things you can do. Get them a travel cage so they can come out with you, etc. But um, birds are wonderful. Are they wonderful? So anyways, um, she does say different things. I don't know what she's saying might be French. <laughs> so anyways, um, just wanted to introduce you to Bailey, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you could hear me, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So we'll be back.